Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back to get you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting a chance to know me. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up. Like and even share. It will greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and seeing about me. It is greatly appreciated. And hopefully you'll get something out of my videos. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Much love to you as always. Thank you so much for the love and support you send me. Every time I have my videos, it is greatly appreciated from my bottom of my heart. Much love to you. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. Today, I'm listening to 528 Hertz Miracle Tone to bring positive transformation. High energy, soul, soul, fingo, so fingo frequency music. So I'm my bad if I butchered that up, but that kind of threw me off. So I hope, hopefully, I pronounced that right. Um, and I will post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ogus, do you? embrace your dark side you embrace your dark side now i'm not talking about when you know when people you say your dark side some people think i'm talking about like your closet serial killer stuff or you know you, you closet jeffrey Dahmer, or you know ted bundy or something like that no i'm not talking about stuff like that it ain't even that type of video i'm talking about like your hey open dark side you know we have so many things that we have been through that we probably frown upon and it's just you have to be able to embrace that side of you you have to be able to know that side and know you know it's just like sometimes you know some people don't like to show that side of you you know side side themselves it's like with me um i'm on this fan page uh with the they have all horror movies and stuff like that and one of my my um facebook sisters they had posted this picture of this little boy just sleeping you know just sleeping peacefully and you see this decrepit thing like it's like i guess he had like one of those mosquito nets over him like you put over your bed and you see this thing poking out and i was like oh snap i see years of therapy and people started laughing and i was laughing too because i'm just like if this thing don't kill you i know it's gonna make you cuckoo for cocoa puffs but you know the next person will probably see that like something's seriously wrong with you what's wrong <laughs> but see i have dark humor like that like i love funny scary movies i'll die laughing at them all day even stuff where i think is not funny like in movies so funny it would look at me and be like what's wrong with you but being a hey oka we have a little morbid times you know we have sometimes it's like we i got macabre moments real quick you know I, I i was raised up on elvira and you know uh what is it captain america with his old pal lefty from captain usa off of the usa channel if y'all can remember far back then you know that's telling my age but it's like I embrace my dark side. And it's just like I always said, going down my journey, if I have this dark side, I cannot be ashamed of that side of me. I have to learn because this is a part of me. This is a part of who I am, that complex, goofy, you know, morbid type of person that has a dark, got dark humor. You know, and some people can't embrace that. You know, some people are like, oh, my gosh, you know, is she okay? But I'm actually, I'm fine. It's just that I'm more, you know, I'm well grounded and it humbles me. But I'm more, you know, you know, I'm just more vocal with it because some people it'll throw people off like, no, she just did not come out and say that. And I'm like, oh, yes, I did. <laughs> it's like, yes, I did. You just probably thinking that I just didn't want to say it. And so I've always been told that. It's like you always spoke your mind. And I was like, you have to. You always have to speak your mind. As long as you're not trying to go out your way to hurt anybody. You always supposed to speak your mind. If you're not, you know, no, I ain't one of those type of people. <laughs> I'm never one of those type of people. 
But, you know, if you're on your journey, basically what I'm saying, when you're on your journey, you and you want to be out in that limelight, you want to be out, and it's not talking about celebrity fame or anything like that, but putting yourself in that light of your gift of living in your true self. You have to be able to embrace every part of you and be able to basically just say, okay, this is me and I'm proud of this. You know, if there's things that I need to change, so be it. Those things that I need to change, but just know if I'm waking up the next day, even when I don't feel like doing nothing, because there's days when you have been depressed. There's days you don't feel like you're not that day. There'll be days you'll see dishes or something that's in your sink or laundry that need to be done. You don't feel like doing that because you're dealing with your things. But the day you can get up and say, you know what, never no more. Never no more. Even when you are depressed and you, you get up and wash those dishes and you get up and fold your clothes and put them up. Even though that might not be much to you, but you just don't realize for a person that has high anxiety, a person that has depression, that suffers from bipolarism or whatever the heck they want to call it, that is a big step. Trust me, that is a big step. Because I've, I've been in groups where I've heard people just, they will have anxiety just talking to somebody. And that's never been mine. It's like I, I would have one, like when it comes to public speaking, but then I know I had to step out that fear if I know I want to be a motivational speaker because there might be a day that I might have to go speak out in front of a lot of people and I can't be shy about stuff like that. So I have to go for what I know and be able to heal and be able to get on what I need to get on with. But I'm not trying to hold you up. Embrace your dark side. Embrace embrace that macabre side of you if you have one or embrace that silly side of you you know don't be afraid of who you are embrace that whatever part of you you decide to show when you know it's a positive a positive perspective or a po positive gift or anything go ahead and don't don't be afraid to show that so i will talk to you later i hope that you are able to resonate with my video and able to get something out of my video and I will keep you on my prayers, and I most definitely hope you do the same for me. Like and subscribe if you didn't already. Drop me a comment. I'd love to get a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I will see you on my next video. Stay blessed. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You see somebody with their frequency low or your frequency is low, raise it to the roof. Help the next person out. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.